We are back. Ramsey White with Lou Bebo Vasquez right here and in the, flesh. The, the champ Aaron Walker. We are here now for the main event, the 145-pound kickboxing title between Brandon Waters and Tyler Dwangse. Making his way to the cage right now is Brandon Waters, five foot nine from Jacksonville, Florida. Trains out of Kaizen, Tampa. He is a Muay Thai fighter with a record of 26 and five. He says, this is going to be a great fight. I love fighting Southpaws. I imagine I will figure him out well before the third round. Give a shout out to his mom, his dad, sister Alexis, all of the young aspiring fighters in the room, all access CBD, and everybody from Tampa and Duval. Check him out on Instagram at Brandon Waters Fights, also at Kaizen underscore Tampa, and at Ala Access CBD. Says he really loves this sport and the community around it. He loves putting on a show, and as long as your company is run by good people, I'm happy to put some thought and energy into promoting your product. So heads up, sponsors, Brandon Waters would like to represent you. Brandon Waters, man, got 31 fights, 31 amateur kickboxing fights. How about that's, that? That's a lot of fights. It is. We had Shorty Torres on earlier talking about yes. the benefits of taking a large amount of amateur fights. And then we got Aaron Walker uh, scr <laughs> chomping at the bit to get his pro debut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I had like 11 fights, though. I, I had all eight. together, <laughs> including kickboxing in okay. the MMA. I had 11 <laughs> MMA fights before going pro. So yeah, man, I've been I've been doing this since 2016. It's about that. five years in. Yeah. I'm about ready yeah, for yeah. it. You know for what sure. I mean? 100 percent. Time to get paid. <laughs> yeah. True. You're not a 19 year old guy just getting into. Yeah. If, it'd be different if I was 19, fresh. I'd be like, hey, man, hold down. You still got some time. I wouldn't even want you to go pro till like you like 25, 24 yeah. or something like that. Honestly, collect the experience, soak it in, learn the ins and outs. Uh, making his way to the cage now is Tyler Dwangse, five foot seven, out of Gardner, Massachusetts. Trains at Chombury Muay Thai. He is 19 and eight as a Muay Thai fighter. He sees his opponent crumbling under his ruthless pressure and him laid out on the canvas. He wants to give a shout out to his coach, Bruce, his teammates, and everyone who helped get ready for this fight. Also, what's up, I, a lion fight? Find me a fight. Uh, check him out on Instagram at Solea underscore CMT Jim. And he say, wants to say to any potential sponsor, his name is Solea Dwingse, and I'm coming for every championship title I can get. I'm here to prove that I'm the best and no one's stopping me. Lady, and ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is a, a yep. kickboxing fight. More With time. elbows. Elbows are going to be allowed. Yep. If you notice, they have the pads, the elbow pads. Yep. Oh, hey. I'm, I'm more excited Pretty much this. this is what happens if two fighters agree to elbows now. This is the new rules for Florida. And this is even in an MMA fight, too, as well. Yes. If two fighters agree to elbows, then you're allowed to wear elbow pads and use those elbows throughout your fight. Um, me, personally, I wouldn't want to get hit with the elbow without being paid for it whether it was padded or not. But I understand the benefits of adding the elbow to an amateur, excuse me, to an amateur fight as well. Absolutely, and I, and I agree with you, Aaron. Me, I, I would not do an amateur fight, but this is great for those that want to do it. Both yeah. corners agree, the head coaches agree, the fighters agree, this is all good. It's padded, this is the first time, Brandy, that I'm gonna see the use of elbows in an amateur bout, so I'm curious to see How's that gonna work? Are the pads gonna move? Are they gonna be uncomfortable? Guys, you are in for a treat. This is a first for us first at time. Combat Night. We've not had an amateur bout with uh, the utilization of elbows. And it's also it's often an underutilized tool as guys transition from amateur to pro as they become accustomed to not using them and then they're not necessarily ready to use them whenever they become pro. It makes perfect sense. Both these guys have a lot of fights. Tyler has 26, 27 fights under his belt. These guys are very, very experienced and still amateurs. It's going to be very interesting here. And it's for a 145 title bout. So that means there's five rounds. I don't know if it's five rounds or not, but no, I think it's five rounds, man. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> is it five rounds? Yeah. That is great. Five two-minute rounds? That's awesome. That's awesome. 
introducing first, standing to my left in the red corner, hailing from Jacksonville, Florida. He weighs in this evening at 145 pounds. Representing Kaizen Tampa, please welcome Brenton Water. Dwang Say out of the blue corner, Waters out of the red. The I should say Dwang Say in the gold trunks, Waters in the burgundy. Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. Uh, let me stop. All right, yeah, we got a fun kickboxing fight on here. Notice, I think it's five rounds. Notice those elbow pads, so we will see some utilization of that. The eight First M's. time in combat night. Here they go. And they're coming out striking immediately. Damn. And we have Southpaw versus Orthodox, too, as little, well. Little Again. clinch there. Using, utilizing the cage in this kickboxing fight. Yep. I, saw, I think I saw a foot stomp as well <laughs> by Tyler. <laughs> nice mm, body nice, work there. Nice. Hi, Brandon. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice elbow. First elbow wow. thrown. Wow. Woo! And he's cut. He's cut already. He's cut already. The elbow <laughs> cut him. <laughs> and another. Oh, another, another elbow. elbow. Let's get nasty. Woo! Such a difference that makes. This is this is everybody's watching this like man. Oh, try to wow. go for a sweep there. That was, but oh, another elbow. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, Tyler here is getting very creative. Tyler is with the blue tape. Oh, oh nice. Brandon with a sweep. Brandon with the red tape. Ugh. Brandon has yet to throw an oh, elbow. Oh, nice. These really guys are technical. Really wow. Breaking in on those leg kicks. These Again, elbows. Tyler with an elbow. The fact that they're just so willing to just throw these elbows like that is crazy. <laughs> Tyler is split open. It's a nice kick. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he cut him with a nice throw him. He cut him with an elbow. Nice. Oh, wow. And. Ooh. I'm not sure. And right back to it. The blood flows I, from the yeah, forehead of water. Trying to see what if it goes to the well, 10 seconds left. Trying to see how Brandon's corner is gonna stop that blood. And Guys, what the reps are gonna do too, because yes. it's an amateur fight, and this is the first time we're seeing this. Now, he got cut. It's in between his eyes, so it's not bothering him. It's vision. not bothering him, but let's see what the ref has to say about it too, as well. Because this is one of those things where it's like, okay, this is amateurs. Usually they'll stop a fight for a little small inconvenient cut. Yeah. But the first shot was him throwing that elbow and opening him up. Like you said, it's not around the eyes. It's not even on the face. No. So, yeah. so long as it's not gushing, it's I yeah, think no, it's, uh, it's not impairing his vision, so yeah. it should be good. And but what I heard, too, a long time ago in wrestling, that sometimes they even cut themselves across the forehead. Just because they're able to repair that without stitches, so yeah, because nothing the, crazy. The vest, the, the the veins there are so small. This professional wrestling, I'm a professional wrestling nerd, boy. <laughs> Ric Flair, Abdullah, Abdullah the Butcher. You yeah. should look him up, guys, on pay per view. Oh God, Abdullah the oh Butcher. Look him up on, on Google. He was, oh, it was it hurt. He used he to cut think about who. He used to cut you open with forks. Yeah, but, man. Uh, hey, Aaron, my man. Yo, you know about pro wrestling? Oh, snap. I know a little bit, man. I know a little bit, son, son, about some pro wrestling, some <laughs> WWE. W I stopped watching it. Recently, so, though, it's so they've not got the same. waters cleaned it's not up. The same. So here we go. Yep. Put a little round. Vaseline on him. Did what they had to do. Hopefully, he's gonna stop bleeding. Nope. It's still some blood dripping it's down. But you know, he's a fighter, and he'll be okay. The first but contact. Here we go. So Let's see what happens it. now. Nice little teep there. Kick. Nice teep. Nice. That was a great jab by Tyler. A nice knee on the break too, as well. He Into the business. You heard the ref, or you heard the corner. And these short elbows. Oh, oh wow. Elbow. The first elbow that caught thrown. him. The first elbow thrown by Brandon. Oh, wow. That caught him, too, though. What a treat, guys. What a treat. 
I can't believe these guys nah. agreed to this. <laughs> Nice. Mm. Mm. Nice leg wow. kick by Brandon. This is a very good back and forth fight right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. This second round is taking a toll. Yeah, Dwayne Brandon says, is opening up more. Dwayne says slowed down a little bit. He did. Nice he knee to the body. I wonder, ooh, back, I wonder if those leg kicks are starting to add up. Because if you notice, he's getting kicked the shit out of his leg. He really is. Oh, oh nice. 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 Ooh. He's right back up. Ooh, right back to it. Brandon is stalking Tyler right now. Yeah, he is stalking him. Seems to be getting better. Little clinch there, little knee. Break. Larry has a task on him right now. He's throwing those tomahawk elbow. elbows. Oh. Elbow to the chest. A lead elbow, Another then a spinning. backwards, a spinning backwards one. This is exciting. I'm not even going to lie. This this is oh, going to make wow. a great highlight reel for the next combat night <laughs> footage. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Perfect. Nice. That, what's yeah. the name? that body shot low kick is killing him, though. Yeah, he faked. He faked yeah, he really ooh. is eating up that he lead leg. He's going to split up from the ref? He tried. He was like, no, I'll have this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that knee. That knee got him. And we go Into to the second the third. round. That knee got him. Yeah, he uh, he can't quite get on his stool fast enough. Yeah, that knee got him. Oh, Brandon's gonna go stoolless. It's a very interesting thing to me. I hate that. I want my stool. I want my time to sit down and recover. Get me off my feet for that one minute. But there are times too when I get off that stool. Or I sit down and I get up and I'm like, what the yeah. fuck happened to my legs? Yeah. So I get it too. It's a hit or miss. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. So his corner might have seen, okay, we need to keep that blood flowing inside his legs a little bit more. He needs to pull his shin guard up a little bit more. Okay, water fell. Not going to pull the shin guards up. It's okay. I, the shin, I feel like his shin guards aren't protecting his shins. No. <laughs> I, think, I think Angel Marquez is doing a great job keeping the, oh, the, the blood out. Nice and know, clean. Cleaning the blood. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's doing his thing on that. Waters uh, was very busy in that second round. Yeah, I give that round to him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Brandon uh, turned it up in that second round. Uh, I, I give I give give him that round for sure. I think the the initial cut in the first round kind of yeah. startled him a little bit. And all of us, I think. Yeah, it, I, did. it did. No, it startled the hell out of me. Can you believe like that? He just came in right the off first elbow. Bow. Thrown. Yeah, the first, first elbow. elbow thrown, first cut. Get that shit, Angel. Angel doing the job. Angel, Angel, great job, Angel. <laughs> Pay that man double. <laughs> he and he did it without any gloves on, too. Yeah, he hustling out there. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Beginning of the third right here. Ooh, Ooh nice that body. Was hard body kick. These guys are tough. Oh, he switched? Yeah. He threw a switch right. Yes. Well, he's southpaw, that's why. Yeah. Um, what's his name, southpaw? Uh, Tyler. I think Tyler Southpaw. Yeah, Tyler, yeah, Tyler Southpaw. Southpaw. But Waters, nice, straight. Oh, and they. Waters mm, is standing nice. Southpaw. He's going back and forth with them. Another nice elbow. elbow there. These little. Yeah, he's A lot throwing. of kicks. Brandon Jesus. is staying active with those kicks. Ooh, mm, man. You're hearing uh, somebody yell out, work that body, Brandon. It's true, yep. Nice I mean, kicks. Those cat or those low kicks are really slowing them up too, though. Beautiful Ooh, body. Three work shots to Tyler. the body. That was a three-piece mm. combo there. Mm. And they're going right back to it, though. Right oh, they're standing in the phone booth now. I love it. Dwayne say getting busy. Mm-hmm. Good stuff right here. Ooh, nice. A little low. Tried to trap the foot. Mm. Hey. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Nice. Check hook kick there. A little stomping going on from the crowd. By Brandon. Ooh. Step Another right elbow. into that elbow. Oh my God. That elbow, he's stepping into it every time. 
I just think if it wasn't padded, he would have been knocked out by now, honestly. I mean, look how deadly the elbows are with padded. Exactly. They open him up. He's stepping right into it, and it's connected right on the chin, though. <laughs> Guys are throwing down. Is it, round. is it three rounds or is it five rounds? It's five. It's five. Oh. Dwayne Say was acting like he thought it was over. He thought it was over because I'm pretty sure he thought, okay, this is three rounds. This is it. You know, for no title fights in the MMA fight, if it's three rounds, or no, title fights for MMA, oh. amateur, three rounds. The nose of Brandon Waters appears to be mashed in. Mm. Huh. So we're bleeding from two spots now. The nose. And it looked right head. across the bridge of the nose. His coach was trying to put some pressure on it to and stop some no. bleeding, and he was oh, wow. He's not, not feeling it. it. And the thing about that, too, now, is he can't blow his nose if it's really broken, though. If he blows his nose, he's fucked. Oh, don't blow your nose. Don't blow your nose, man. Just let that, that shit That was an elbow that it. did that for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh there, fight's over. Oh. That's going to be that. Yep. And that's what I was wondering, what they were going to smash it or when they were going to stop it inside amateurs. Because at some extent, it's like you guys aren't getting paid for this shit. Hey, you know, yeah. just now keep you on. Now like, you see know the devastating I mean? pressure that elbows can bring. Yeah. And, uh, Do you guys want elbows inside amateur fighting? And that fighting? was their own yeah. choice. The both yeah. men Yeah. Yep, that was chose. both their choice right there. And hey, coach, you're going to read. And look at that. That's a great picture. I cannot wait till that picture comes out. That is a crazy I cannot one. wait till that picture comes out. <laughs> 